It's a fairly quiet industrial East Texas city about 35 miles north of Longview, hard hit by the recent massive layoffs of Lone Star Steel, the area's primary source of employment. And so, for many families here in Dangerfield, Christmas won't be that merry. But one thing that's kept the spirit high here is the town's football team, a team that any city would be proud of, a team on the verge of winning a state championship. And what a nice early Christmas present that would be. Dangerfield, Texas is a small town of about 3,000 people in northeast Texas. It is located about 135 miles north of Dallas. The high school currently has roughly 380 students enrolled. Talk about a small town. The town is mostly known for the 1980 First Baptist Church shooting that took the lives of five people. In the small town of Dangerfield, Texas this morning, a heavily armed man dressed in army gear walked into a Baptist church, yelled, this is war and open fire on the congregation. Dangerfield High School has taken six state championships, ranging from the year 1968 to 2010. However, there is one year that stands out. One year that is remembered in Texas football history, as well as national football history. That year is 1983. However, their story begins in 1982, when Lone Star Steel, the area's largest employer, announced that they were laying off 2,500 employees. Parents were so desperate for food that they were running to the school asking if they too could eat school lunches. The town had just had one of Texas's most historical shootings of all time. Coach Dennis Alexander looked to help not only the players, but also the town during this time of rebuilding. If you know Texas football like I do, then you know the residents of Dangerfield used their high school team as an escape from all of the tragedy and decline in their hometown. There was much anticipation leading up to the 1983 season. However, nobody knew what was soon to be possibly the greatest football season in Texas football history. Dangerfield's first game was against Kilgore, which was a much bigger school. Though Dangerfield was thought to be one of the underdogs, they won 35-2. The two points that Kilgore earned came off of a bad snap that was supposed to be a punt. It rolled out of the back of the end zone and thus earned Kilgore a safety. In another game against Carthage, Dangerfield would go on to win 10-6. Carthage's six points came from a tip pass from the Dangerfield quarterback that turned into a pick six. You may be wondering why I only brought up two of their games this entire season, including the playoffs. Well, that's because the eight points scored by Kilgore and Carthage combined were the only eight points scored against Dangerfield in the entire 1983 season. No, the defense nor the special teams gave up any points, including the playoffs. As a matter of fact, Dangerfield's defense scored 76 points. Yeah, the defense scored 76 points, while not allowing a single point all season. You think that's crazy? It gets even crazier. The team had 14 shutouts all season, 14. Out of the 16 games they played that year, 14 of them were complete shutouts. All year, Dangerfield scored a total of 631 points, but they allowed 8. In the playoffs, nobody scored against them. They even won the state championship 42-0. They were the first Texas team to go 16-0. They also have the national high school football record for most shutouts in a season with 14. A town that had recently been struck with one of the state's most tragic events, to the town's largest employment layoff, to the greatest team that ever played a game according to stats. This story is like that of a movie. Some argue that the 1969 University of Texas football team is the best Texas team to ever play. However, I beg to differ. A 1983 Dangerfield High School team just has a unique story that should be known to most sports fanatics. They gonna win it this weekend? Oh yeah. About 40 to nothing. Yeah. 40 to nothing. 40 to zip. Another shutout, shutout, without a doubt. We're going to make another record. That's it. Right down there. An unbreakable record.